Consultant Richard Laidler here on the uh, accountability call with senior consultant Paul Mitchell, who is at this current moment um, sitting outside the uh, Richard and Mary Amado's business presentation down in uh, Wyndham Hotel on 6, 35 and 75. Probably, I would suggest the strongest business presentation in town. What would you say, Paul? It's certainly the best. Um, there are some really good ones. You know, when I say this is the best, that's really saying a lot because there are some really good ones. And Richard, you and I have both spoken at most of them, up in McKinney, out in Mesquite, out in Arlington. Um, there's some really good presentations going on in this area. But Richard and Mary's is the best. There's there's always multiple yellow jackets there. Uh, there's great presenters, uh, and, and it's just a, a very professional, uh, high quality presentation every single time. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And for, for those of you who don't, you know, frequent the business presentations, uh, maybe quite as often as you should. Um, then uh, find out where your local business presentation is and go along and support the hate and maybe even take a guess. Uh, wouldn't that be a shocking thing to do? But uh, <laughs> both, both Paul and I are very, um, we don't, um, we never do, we never ask people to do what we don't do ourselves. And I know that um, Paul is at the business presentation tonight. I'm a, I don't think you have a guest tonight, but you're still there because we promised to do one business presentation a week, correct? Correct, although this is my second. So I feel good. Well, I'll do the overachiever. <laughs> <laughs> Going to one more tomorrow night, and I've got another guest for that one. Fanta Which one's the one tomorrow night? Oh, oh the one, one in Doug, um, McKinney. In the, McKinney. Um, Doug Parker is hosting a special one-off uh, presentation and um, and vision board making party. Uh, so uh, we had a uh, we had a guest tell us that yes, uh, she would be able to be able to come out to a presentation, but she couldn't make it before Friday. And was there something on Friday? And to, to which my reaction was, yes, this week only, there is. And uh, so we've got her coming along with us. Fantastic. Yeah. And uh, just for, again, for those who are listening, I'm not sure when this recording is going out, but uh, the vision board um, party, this is the second one of any kind of weight and uh, volume as far as number of people there is concerned. Um, very successful. I'd, I'd actually recorded, I, I had my camera at the last one and I put uh, a promotional video together for Doug, uh, which is actually on the Facebook pages uh, as we speak on the EC Writers Facebook page, as well as I know on Doug Parker's, and I know it's on the uh, Richard and Mary's as well. Uh, right on the, the DFW Ambit team and the also the Ambit A team page. It, yeah, thank you, thank you, and uh, it gives you a sense of of what it's like, and it's actually a lot of fun. Uh, it really is a lot of fun. It's not really usually my scene. I, I find you know being English, we're a little bit more conservative and. We don't tend to go out to those things, but actually it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to film, and uh, that, that's just a mere snippet of, of all the filming I got. I got about 32 gigabytes of filming, but uh, very much uh, worthwhile. All the details are on the Facebook page, so um, go there and have a look and see what the details are like. But uh, as uh, Paul said, there's a business presentation before, and then right after that is, a, uh, is the vision board party. So anyway... Um, nice bit of promo going on there, a little bit of housekeeping before we get on with our accountability call. So let's dive straight on in. I know um, you'll want to get in for the um, uh, uh, for the testimonials and the business presentation. So let's jump on right on with this. How was how was today, my, my friend? Today was good. Today was good. I spoke to my coworker, Heather, uh, pretty much first thing this morning. And uh, mm -hmm. she's on uh, on board to come and see the presentation tomorrow. At, uh, actually, I'm going to show it to her at uh, at, at lunchtime tomorrow. Uh, we'll go out to lunch and, and I'll show her the video. Um, and then uh, I called up uh, I called up my friend David, the attorney up in the Chicago area, and uh, he was he was all great guns to see what I've got to show him. Uh, and uh, he asked for a little bit a little bit of extra time, so I'm scheduled to call him Friday of next week. Uh, so I'll be showing uh, I'll be showing him over the phone. Uh, just direct him to the website and say, hey, take a look at this. And he's he's great guns ready to go. So those were my two invitations, and both very successful. I've, Got presentation a appointment set for them. Who's a clever boy? <laughs> it was good. It Cause, was good. Because I know you've had a, a couple of days where you got, you know, kind of like a bit of a swift mm -hmm. kick in the butt. And yep. it's, great. it's terrible when you have those types of days. And um, and uh, as we talked on those calls, you know, just jump straight back on the horse. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, you have a great day. And it sounds it. like, you know, we have, I know we had some good invites for both of them. Um, short, sweet, to the point. I know you would have written them down and had them rehearsed and everything. So, um, how did you feel? How did you feel the invitations went? What was your kind of um, your emotional state as you were doing the calls? You feel oh, it was confident? very good. It was very. It was. I was nervous about calling David because I was worried I was going to catch him at a bad time. 
because uh, mm-hmm. I know he's an attorney and I have no idea what his schedule is. I was calling him around five o'clock in the afternoon, uh, and it uh-huh. turns out that he was taking the week off. Uh, he had some elective surgery early in the week, and uh, he's recovering from that. And so he's just kind of taking it easy and was was happy to chat with me. Fantastic. Well, again, a hundred percent success rate for us. It's not whether people join or not. It's whether they actually agree to take a look at the plan, and which is obviously mm-hmm. what you are um, have achieved to do with both of those chaps. So. Two gold stars. Well done, my friend. That's really, really good. And that's, that, that's a day well worth done. And just again, as a matter of interest, um, you know, people go, oh, I don't have time for this business. You made two calls. I'm not sure if you did anything else uh, today, but you made no. two calls. How much time did you dedicate to your Ambit business today? It was, it was, Other, it was not even, the business presentation. It was even one call. And so, you know, then the other was an in-person conversation with somebody that I talk right. to every day anyway. And so that was a one-minute right. conversation. And then I might have spent 10 minutes on the phone with David talking about his surgery and what he's been doing since, but that was after we set the appointment. So, Amazing. yeah, I, I, on Ambit, I spent, you know, 10 minutes inviting today. Tops. And, and again, uh, I, I mean, obviously at the business presentation tonight, so that would be mm-hmm. like an hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours if you go to the uh, the meeting after the meeting. But again, Which for I those surely of you will. who are listening in, <clears throat> for those of you who are listening in, What's really crucial here and what, you know, Paul and I are both trying to, you know, get across to you guys is the amount of time you need to spend on this business really is not very much. Paul has two opportunities for people to look at the business, both of whom may say yes to the business. Uh, We don't know. It's in the lap of the gods as far as that's concerned. But it was about 11 to 14 minutes worth of time. If both of these people join and get qualified, that's a couple of, well, for you as a senior, how much money will you make from that? A lot. Yeah. A lot. I mean, if they, if, they, if they each just make their own first, if they each make their own first uh, bonus, that's you know, two thirty, uh, four hundred seventy dollars just off of off them make, coming in and bringing in their first two customers. Um, right. But who knows? They 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 might both go to senior consultant themselves. Uh, both of these exactly. are very accomplished, uh, uh, high achieving people, and they might both go to senior consultant themselves and be forty percent of what I need to make executive consultant. And yeah. Boy, that's that's uh, that's a big part of why I'm doing this whole thing. I'm trying to jumpstart my business again, and uh, mm-hmm. and I want to. I'm I'm racing to try to make. And I'm going to say this over the phone. I'm going to say this for all the people listening. My goal <laughs> is to make executive consultant by June seventh. And wow. if you look at my if you look at my organizational chart, if you look at my consultant reports, I wouldn't bet a whole lot of good money on that. But mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a I'm making a big push here. I'm I need to find I need to find five people. Who need who want to fast track to senior consultant or something close to it? Uh, and well, and I can, June seventh is the last day where June seventh is the last day where I can promote to executive fast track. That's a great and goal. So that's and why. Thing is that's why well, June seventh. Right, I understand. So, so what? What? But what's interesting about that is here's here's one thing I'll tell you. If you, if first of all, if you personally um, uh, uh, stick to the the purge call of two calls a day and one accountability call with a, a strong accountability partner. If you personally do that, and you're able to find your five people who want to do that along with you, you will do it. You will reach. You absolutely will reach EC by June seventh because to get to SC actually doesn't have to take that long. And if you're doing two calls a day, five days a week with an accountability partner, you it's actually not a huge task to get to SC. And so all you've got to do is do five of those concurrently and you'll get there. You could even do it if you, I mean, I've set myself a huge goal. I'm not going to state what it is because it's a huge goal for the end of next (laughs) year, which involves me building five ECs. So that might be a clue as to what Uh, my goal is. I think there's a short list of goals that could be. (laughs) (laughs) But the point is, what I've done is, is because of the success rate of the victims or, in your case, protege on this call, because of the success rate they have, if I can just duplicate that with my five people I'm going to build to EC, I will reach it. And it's really interesting. Actually, this is an interesting dynamic here because very often we're out there setting goals and we say, oh, I'd like to be RC by this date or I'd like to be SC by this date. But it's very difficult to just have a goal without a system or a, um, a plan behind it. Um, and so, Oh, no, no, no about, Richard. It's, it's very easy. People do that every day. They just don't reach them. <laughs> Yeah, that, yeah, I, I, and so it's, it's, all you have to do is, is hope it, and it happens, right? Yes, all you have to do is hope. <laughs> but the happen. point is, with with something like this, because it's formulaic, on the lowest end, people get about three or four opportunities to show the plan. 
in a purge week. And on the highest end, we'll get nine to 11 opportunities to show the plan. When you know that type of uh, success rate, you can actually extrapolate that into actual formulas week by week, month by month. And actually, I, I challenge you to do this, Paul. Bearing in mind the success rate that we've had, why don't you actually map out your route from today to June 7th with uh, the numbers and the success rates that we have on these calls. And as I said, on the low end, it's three to four opportunities to show the plan. On the high end, it's nine to 11 opportunities to show the plan. And let's say you have a conversion rate of, say, between one and three out of 10 who look at the plan. It, you could work it out literally to the week um, where you are in your plan because we've got an absolutely definite strategy and structure every week. That's a really interesting thought process. I, I, I can and will do that. Uh, that's a neat idea. Uh, you hmm. know, I've already got four uh, appointments to show the plan, and I've already done two of those uh, already mm -hmm. this week just based on the calls I'm making this week. Uh, so I'm, I'm really feeling like this has been a big success for me, and I'm totally going to be spending uh, a good chunk of Saturday and, and Sunday planning and, and getting my list up to snuff to, to continue doing this. I'm lining up my next mm -hmm. accountability partner, and uh, we will uh, we will move forward with this. And uh, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my goal. I've got a hundred people on my list right now. I'm gonna add more, but there's no reason why I can't spend ten solid weeks doing this. And yeah. boy, ten solid weeks from now, I should be able to have uh, a number of new people in my SC code and and be uh, working them up to uh, to get their SCs as well. If I can you know, I get these people in and, and get them trained right, there's nothing I can't uh, do. That and that's, exa and that's exactly right. It is, it's, again, it's not a hope and a wish. It's an absolute definite if you keep the structure up. And that's what I really like about it, is too many people are hoping and, and wishing that they'll get to the goal, and they're not actually planning to get to the goal. And this is a perfect way. There are other ways to plan. I'm not saying this is the only way to do it, but this is a great way to do it. And it's a way that you've got some, an EC who's going to train you every single Sunday to do it. Um, and what's great for you as well, Paul, with you being a senior, is, of course, you know, you'll get uh, an accumulative result as your, S, your people who come in um, do the same thing. They're going to obviously, you know, uh, be, be calling their own people. So you have accumulative people. It's not only you doing all the work. Obviously, they're going to be doing work as well with your guidance. So this is uh, – that's very exciting. I would be – perhaps we could uh, maybe even just c cover that for maybe f uh, five minutes on the call tomorrow. Um, about you know how you can act, if, if June the seventh is actually achievable according to the numbers. Absolutely. Now, That'd what do you think awesome. is a realistic conversion rate? What well, you you mentioned it a minute ago. I think I think on the low end one out of ten, on the higher end three out of ten. Now there are people okay. that will get higher than that, mm -hmm. but I think that is a perfectly reasonable uh, expectation um, as long as you're showing the plan correctly. And as long mm -hmm. as you're doing three-way calls, so I, I am going to, you know, give a. If you're just going out there and not doing three-way calls, I think the number, your chances are a lot less. So oh, and I'm long, certainly so, doing three-way calls. Oh, I know, and you're very good. They're, most of the people who are doing the purge um, structure are doing three-way calls, which is fantastic. So as long as you show, as long as you follow the system um, of the right invitation, doing the right presentation, making sure you show all the videos. Um, and making sure you get a three-way call, you'll get anywhere from a one out of uh, one to three out of ten success rate, um, and then based upon that, we can work out what the numbers are from you for where you are today to June seventh. And I think that'll be a really mm -hmm. good exercise for everybody on the call tomorrow. All right. Okay. All right. Well, was was there anything else we needed to discuss about today other than your hundred percent success rate? <laughs> That's all I've got today. Fantastic. Thanks again on the call. I know you've been busy. Say hi to everybody there at the business presentation. And I'll we'll do chat it. again tomorrow. All right. Have a great evening. All right, my friend. Great call. Thank you so much. And uh, I'm looking forward to the call tomorrow with those numbers. That'll be awesome. All right. Take care. All right, man. Bye-bye.